It's just a movie. If you don't like it, don't watch it. It's a fantasy film. It's not supposed to make sense. Greetings, Star Warriors. Welcome to the Outer Rim. Today we're going to be talking about, uh, well, a few different things. We're going to be talking about discouragement, encouragement. We're going to be talking about culture and maybe some other things. Since I've started this channel, I've heard a lot of things, some of them encouraging, some of them discouraging. But regardless of which I was hearing at the time, I've never heard from anyone who was indifferent to what was being said in the video. And this means that the person who is trying to discourage me from saying what I'm saying, because it's just a movie, obviously doesn't believe that themselves. Because if it was just a movie, and therefore I should just accept it, then maybe they should accept it as well. And stop listening to what I'm saying. Something brought them to my video. Something made them type into the discussion a derogatory response to what I was saying. And if it's just a movie, and no big deal, then I find it somewhat hypocritical when they tell me that I should just leave off and go my own way. Now, for those of you who have been encouraging, I want to thank you so much. It, it, it's been really, really unbelievable, the, the attention and the growth that the channel has gotten. I did not expect this. And so I would just like to post some of the comments that illustrate why I continue to do what I'm doing. Um... Unfortunately, I can't post everyone's comments. I can't even respond to everyone's comments. If I did try that, I would never be able to make another video, which is very, very unfortunate. Um, but I do try my best. And unfortunately, the more popular the channel gets, it seems the less I'm able to respond. Since I didn't get uh, permission from my listeners to actually publish their comments, I'm not going to include their names in their posts, but I do want to extend my appreciation to those who wrote these things. This one says, I'm not great at conveying my thoughts or feelings, therefore I tend to use too many words, but please bear with me. Fundamentally, I just want to say thanks for putting in the work it requires to make these videos for us. I wish I could put into words how much Star Wars has meant to me over the years. Many of my fondest memories revolve around Star Wars. My father taking me to see it in the theaters as a child, my best friend teaching me everything there is to know about the expanded universe, then passing that knowledge on to other friends and getting them into Star Wars. But I never thought that, at a, time, that a time would come when I would truly despise Star Wars. Luke Skywalker has, been, has resonated with me on a deep level my entire life because I relate to him, wanting to break free from humble beginnings, having a strong and unwavering moral compass, blonde. <laughs> it seems as though my parallel with Luke will continue. Luke exiled himself because he no longer believed in what gave him purpose, the Jedi, and couldn't stand to damage the universe with his, the Jedi's, mere presence. I feel I need to exile myself from Star Wars, i.e., not watch any new Star Wars, so that it will not further damage my already tainted outlook on Star Wars. All of that to say thank you, because I can't express my disappointment with the treatment of this franchise and Luke. It's like your voice is in my voice, when I'm just too downtrodden to explain the reasons Star Wars sucks. It didn't always suck, and it certainly hasn't been perfect by any means. But the new Star Wars is still Star Wars. It's become utter garbage. Thank you for your hard work. I hope you'll react to this comment in any way to show me that it has made its way to you. Man. Uh, I, I want to start out by saying you're definitely not bad with words. And having a lot to say is not a bad thing, especially in a time like this. So I would really encourage you to find a way to get your word out there beyond uh, what you can by just posting on one of my videos. Whether that's by making videos of your own or publishing on a blog. And hell, if you can uh, uh, write an article on some site or another, some already established site, that would be great. Because Disney has people fighting for it uh, by writing articles. They have a lot of them. And if even a small fraction of my audience could match them... <laughs> Wow, that would not go unnoticed. A lot of people have been watching my videos lately, but um, these articles, I'm sure, get more attention than even my videos do. So, 
you know, there's a lot of work to be done because there's a lot of misinformation on the other side. And I'm not saying that Disney completely has these people lying for them or these people are just lying of their own accord, but they're not telling the whole truth generally, uh, especially when they refer to us as fanboys and say, uh, and, and dismiss us, um, but with, with some ridiculous reason as to why we don't like this movie or why we're vocal about our feelings towards it. I've, I've read a lot of them and I've seen a, I've seen a lot of videos from fairly famous people trying to uh, categorize us in ways that are, if not inaccurate, they are totally uh, inept in describing why we've been uh, vocal against The Last Jedi. Um, Take Kevin Smith, for instance. Man, in the last couple years, he's become a major shill. So, as far as I'm concerned, he's pretty much against us in this unfortunately. But I would really encourage everybody not to watch Disney again, but I I think that's asking a lot. But that is what it is. There is um, a message from someone else who I thought, that that I thought was really, really wise. It was really, really cool. (laughs) And he's basically giving a message to people like me to give a message to other people who fully intend to watch Star Wars movies in the future, despite the fact that they don't like what has become of Star Wars presently. And this is the message. Promote the idea of waiting at least two weeks to see a Star Wars film. Demand quality. If we always wait, then longevity is their only way to make money. Wait two weeks. The Force will be with us if we stick together. I never thought of this, but um, to the guy who posted this, I've seen several of your comments on my channel already, and I would also encourage you to make videos or write articles if you haven't done so already. And get this out there. I, you did a great job, I think, in, in making sure I saw what you were posting, but I can't reach everybody, unfortunately. So the more people that come, that, that spread this message, the better. The Last Jedi made a hell of a lot of money in the first uh, week, and unfortunately, they took that momentum to cross over the, the billion dollar mark. Even though they were slowing down <laughs> really, really badly after the first week. They still crossed the billion dollars. Now they're sitting at $1.3 billion as we speak. We vote with our dollars. And great point right there. But I just, I also want to show some of the negative uh, responses I've gotten to my videos. First one. People are still banging on about this movie? For fuck's sake, let it go. It's like a pity party up here in here. It's just a movie, let it go. It's just a damn movie. Yeah, it was shit. We all know it was shit. But beating a, a dead horse just to get views is sad. I mean, <laughs> the presumption in, in those statements. I mean, if it's just a movie, then go your way. Why do you care what I say? Beating a dead horse just to get views. As if you know me. As if you know my history. Just move along. If it's just a movie, then what I'm saying are just words and you shouldn't care. The next guy. You bored me at listen up. And I put my own response in there. You bored me at you. The next one. Why are so many people surprised that he is standing behind his creation? And this is in, in reference to Ryan Johnson there. I will lose respect for someone that that has no backbone to be proud of what they've done, good or bad. The hate for The Last Jedi is getting old. Proud of what they've done, good or bad. What's to be proud of something bad? <laughs> Bad to go out and shoot someone in the head for no reason. But this, you should be proud of that. It's bad to destroy a priceless work of art, but you should be, be proud of that, huh? Yeah. The hate for The Last Jedi is getting old. So is the pimping out of The Last Jedi. The hate for The Last Jedi is a response to that, largely. Anyway, um, I don't know if these people are Disney shields or not. I don't know if any of these people are the ones who are writing articles or not. But, of course, their arguments are weak, and they're not going to discourage anyone here. But I did want to let the listeners know that I don't ban these people. I like to maintain a level of freedom of speech as much as possible. I don't allow all disruptors to just comment willy-nilly on my channel and spam and go crazy. But for the most part, these kind of people are going to continue to come, and I'm not going to ban them unless they become a huge problem that needs to be dealt with. Right now, we can largely ignore them. There's generally more of us than there are of them anyway. Uh, and unlike 
most of you, they don't make much sense. You guys post, you guys have great, uh, encouraging posts. You make great points. I read a lot of them, even the long ones, even when I can't, uh, I don't have the time to respond to all of them. Um, you guys have brought out a lot of points that I miss, you know, from watching this, the movie once. So I, I just think the activity is great. But I now I just kind of want to talk about the reason why Star Wars isn't just a movie. The reason why these guys are so pissed off that we say bad things about The Last Jedi. It's, it's simple, because it's not just a movie. What they say about it being just a movie is total bullshit. Transformers is just a movie. Uh, Ghostbusters was just a movie. You can point to hundreds of movies that are just movies. Another definition from good old Mer Merriam-Webster. The word I'm defining, we're defining here is culture. And the third definition, the appreciation and knowledge of the arts. Filmmaking and art. Star Wars is art. Always has been. I mean, you can criticize uh, the original trilogy, you can criticize the prequels, you can't say they're not art. The customary beliefs, social forms, and material traits of a racial, religious, or social group. A social group. What is Star Wars if not something to get together and socialize over? Kind of like we're doing on this channel. Also, the characteristic features of everyday existence, such as diversions or a way of life. Star Wars is definitely a diversion, often from or real life problems or real life concerns or whatever, shared by people in a place or time. Popular culture. Star Wars is nothing if not one of these single greatest pop culture properties of our time. So, Star Wars is part of my culture, has been for decades. If I want to rant that someone's is destroying my culture, you know, making me feel like I'm, I've been excommunicated from something I consider part of my culture, what the fuck is it to them? I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. But tell me what you think down below. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this across the galaxy. And as always, if you're listening, you are the new rebellion. You are the new rebellion. You are the new rebellion. You are the new.